So we will go advance uh, slowly to to the next uh, to the next uh, uh, presenter, who is uh, Jean Michel Torrenti, who is the um, is in Paris in the University of Eiffel, and he is uh, also the head of delegation of uh, France in FIB, and he is organizing also the PhD symposium online this year and in in person next year. So I would ask uh, Jean Michel please to share your screen and uh, and then you can uh, you can comment to to us what what is new about the the phd symposium so hello everybody um last year in krakow during the fib symposium i already presented the phd symposium and uh, of course at that time uh, there was no uh, coronavirus outbreak, so we were happy. And I was not uh, worried about the fact that it was a 13th symposium. So I don't know if you know this word, meaning that uh, it's a disease uh, when you are phobic about the number 13, and it's coming from uh, uh, old stories like uh, the Last Supper, where the Jesus was. was uh, with the 12 apostles uh, and um, so there were 13 so that's um, why there is a um, this um, unlucky meaning of this uh, number and this uh, painting uh, from uh, leonardo da vinci is in uh, milano and um, i think the italian people were aware of uh, this uh, this fact and that's why they accept that the French uh, organized uh, the 13th symposium. And this is, the number 13 is also uh, um, an unlucky number if you look at the Amurabi code, which is um, a Babylonian uh, code for um, all sorts of things. And the, the rule number 13 is missing, in fact, in this course. And I just place here uh, a rule for the that's uh, an input for Stuart Matthews I hope he's listening for the new for the new model code maybe you can introduce uh, this old uh, old rule which I think is uh, really motivating for when you build uh, something uh, we we received around 150 abstracts uh, and then there was a coronavirus outbreak and so we have to decide uh, to do something and firstly we decide to have an online symposium this year uh, but only for the phd students that are finishing their phd this year because normally they are not allowed to present uh, if we postpone the symposium to the uh, next year so uh, we decided to 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 do it online of course for the PhD students, it's better to be uh, on site and to discuss with uh, together and with uh, um, the supervisors. But this year, this year, it's not possible. And so, and the second um, decision was that we postpone to the next year a presential symposium in Paris in our university with only the students who have already sent an abstract. Uh, because we don't want to uh, um, uh, um, uh, diminish the participation to the 14th uh, symposium in Italy in uh, 2022. So normally we expect to have around 100 paper, which is, I think it's a good uh, size for the, for the symposium. Of course, we could maybe discuss with some students who are finishing their PhD in uh, 2021. If they have not sent an abstract, maybe we can accept a, a couple of new papers, but not a large number. The organizing bodies are the same, uh, except last year uh, we were uh, not University Gustave Eiffel, we were uh, IFSTAR, but we merged with the local university and now we have this uh, university with a famous uh, name for the uh, of the Eiffel engineer and of course uh, it's organized with the French uh, Association of Civil Engineering and also the French Association of uh, uh, Professors. 
in civil engineering. Uh, it's, uh, this symposium is uh, following a tradition of um, several uh, PhD symposia. And so this year we will be online, next year in Paris, and 2022, uh, I think it's in Roma, uh, in Italy, as I explained. So for this year, we have 46 papers. Uh, under review, um, I am sure some of the reviewers are listening, so I say you are late. And normally, this is the, the, the end of the process was uh, the previous week. Uh, and we let you uh, just this week to finish uh, the work, which is not, not so hard, and it, which is very important for the PhD students to improve the, the papers. Uh, we let uh, 30 minutes for each presentation, of course, including uh, the, the questions. Uh, we, uh, so it's the uh, largest time compared to classical uh, um, uh, symposium, but it is because we want to have time to discuss really with, uh, with the PhD students. Uh, another point is uh, we have, we have um, uh, one keynote on concrete in a carbon neutral economy by Bernard Mathieu, who, who is involved in the cement industry. And we uh, have uh, normally two parallel sessions uh, over the three days, which are still the same. And we have um, four topics because the number of papers was uh, uh, diminished. So we have only four topics uh, for the the preliminary program actually. Uh, also, this uh, slide uh, was presented in um, Krakow. So we, we said at that time, we want to avoid emission and minimize emissions. So this is the responsibility of the participants and we plan to compensate emissions. Finally, uh, this year, we don't have to do that because uh, with the online symposium, uh, uh, there is no travel, so there is uh, no emission of CO2 due to this uh, um, event. And so, uh, as said by um, Tole uh, before, online an online symposium is certainly a part of uh, the answer. And in the future, um, we will certainly have a mix of uh, presential and online uh, symposium. Uh, we also uh, have a, a, a PhD doctoral course, which will be the day before the symposium, but it is also postponed to uh, 2021, just before the PhD symposium. And it's connected to the uh, French project uh, on uh, service life of concrete uh, structures and on, on durability indicators uh, uh, for for uh, performantial approach of uh, durability. So the important date uh, dates uh, this year we have in August uh, the online symposium. The the dates uh, are unchanged, un and in um, 2021 that will be in July. It was discussed with FIB in order to uh, have a certain time between uh, all the FIB events. And we plan to ask for the camera ready full papers uh, at the end of February next year. Uh, for concerning the fees, of course, this year we decided no fee, um, but you have to register. Uh, and actually I have to say, despite the fact that FIB has sent several uh, message, messages, uh, only the PhD students are registered. Uh, so I, we expect that uh, some of uh, um, the supervisor will also register. Some people also involved in FIB will also register. But of course, we have, you have time because there is no fee. Uh, so we can, but please uh, register. And uh, it's, it's for the Presential symposium, it's, it is unchanged for the next year. We still uh, plan to have this uh, low level for the, for the fees. And the last slide also is unchanged. You have the official website and uh, the contact address 
where you can send us uh, some uh, uh, messages. Thank you for your attention. Yes, thank you, Jean-Michel, for this very interesting presentation. We have now some time for questions. If uh, we have any questions from the audience, either in the chat or in the questions and answer part. And while we get some of those, uh, I, would, uh, I would just say that uh, this PhD symposium for, for research people, for people doing their PhD is very important because there is a lot of discussion and there's a lot of professors involved and, and they help uh, to the PhD students to, to see uh, the new ways of uh, how research is, doing, is going in concrete. And it's a good place to, to mix uh, with uh, other uh, young people and so on. So this year, unfortunately, we, there will be not possibility to meet in person. But, uh, but I encourage uh, people to, to attend, uh, register because the discussions are always very, very interesting for the, the research that you're doing. Also, I would uh, like to take profit that we have uh, in the, as the presenter, uh, Miguel Fernandez, which uh, is organizing uh, another event, which is uh, parallel to the PhD symposium. It's not at the same time, but uh, it will be and it's dedicated to more practice people, design people. It's the Conceptual Design Symposium that will be next year also in, uh, in parallel, uh, let's say, in, with a couple months uh, difference, uh, one month and a half difference between the PhD symposium. So if people are interested, not so much in research, but uh, in uh, practice, this will be also very interesting to, to, to follow. I think, uh, Jean-Michel, also maybe something interesting is that due to that you will do the, the, the symposium also with the online possibilities, maybe you will get also some people from, from research that normally cannot travel and, and it will be easier for them to present and discuss their own papers uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this way. You know? So maybe this, this will be a new, new way of doing things. Except that in our case, uh, the abstracts were sent before. So yeah. Yeah. normally the people involved uh, have yeah. planned to, to come. So, okay. uh, but in the future, I, I agree with you. Yeah. There okay. was also a question about a person who, who was a, a postdoc and wanted to participate in the PhD symposium and then you also answered. Yes, of course, uh, it's a PhD symposium, so it's only for PhD students. I'm sorry for that, but that's a rule. Yes. That's so a there, tradition, so... Yes, there are other events that you can, yes. that you can present, sure. and, and I think this will, be, this will be okay then, too. And I think for, from that, is, it's all that you have from, from the PhD symposium. Okay, I don't know if Miguel is uh, around and wants to give some comments about the conceptual design. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, I'm around, David. So, uh, uh, well, we are preparing uh, this uh, symposium, which is uh, actually is following the, the former one that was held in, in Madrid last year. So, it's as you were saying, it's... Um, I think it's not necessary, like the, as you were saying, like the PhD symposium is addressed at also a, um, practitioners, it's addressed also at young researchers that are finishing their PhDs, for instance, and are going to, to practice. So to make this link, this connection between uh, research practice and also good practice, how to design, how to design for the future. It will be um, a lot focused also on the topics of reuse, uh, sustainability and so on, and we expect to to have the um, the flyer running and in first confirmation of dates and call for abstracts within the next week. So I hope you heard you soon. Thank you, Miguel. Then I would thank uh, Jean Michel. Thank you so much for being here and for saying that for all this information. Uh, Jean Michel is an expert in, um, in in materials in concrete and is involved in in, in commission form. Uh, concrete, uh, and I think uh, well, it's uh, it will be very interesting to discuss with you in the in the in the two PhD symposiums that you will held in in Paris. Okay, thank you very much.